Hey, do you wanna know how to crush self-doubt? Hey, Happy Hackers, it's Jody here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Today we're gonna to talk about crushing self-doubt because you know that it gets in the way of everything right? It gets in the way of everything that we try to do, all our hopes, all our dreams, all our adventures, all our relationships. Self-doubt sweeps in and tends to ruin those things. And this is the thing. A lot of times you think you're the only one who has self-doubt, but I have to tell you that self-doubt is one of those weird things that's in our head. It's just in your head, invisible to everybody else. This means that everybody else's self-doubt is invisible to you. And I promise you that there are all kinds of people walking around with lots of self-doubt, lots of low self-confidence, lots of insecurities. Maybe they're about different things, but it's still insecurities. And this is why, because it's not a real personal thing. It is a cultural problem. You know, we have all these standards that we have to live up against. You know, we have to be the perfect everything. And if we're not the perfect everything, we're gonna get left out and we're not gonna belong. And that is devastating. And so we have all these standards that we have to, you know, judge ourselves against. And we're always gonna end up as inadequate. They are unrealistic. So self-doubt is a cultural issue. You are not the only one. There is not something wrong with you. It's not like you are a problem. But, good news, there is something that you can do about it. But before I tell you my three top tips to crushing self-doubt, please subscribe to my channel. Because I got video coming out every week and I don't want you to miss a thing. Because if you're watching this video, I think you're going to like all of my videos. And after this, you could watch them all also. But I want you to know when the new one's coming out. All right, here are three ways for you to crush self I wish I knew sign language. There are three ways for you to crush self-doubt and feel happier, go for more, have more opportunities, not mess up relationships, and go forward with a lot of purpose in your life. Number one, stop hesitating. When you hesitate, your brain does this thing. As soon as you're gonna do something and you hesitate, your brain says, something's wrong, she's hesitating. Look around and find something wrong. Now, often there's nothing wrong, you're hesitating, but there's nothing wrong, but your brain is going to find it. Believe you me, your brain is gonna find something wrong and blow it up. And the longer you hesitate, the more opportunity it has to blow up something wrong, some excuses, some danger, some worry, uh, and some self-doubt. That is the time that self-doubt sweeps in. Number two, build self-trust. Now, all the time, we are doing stuff in our life. We're surviving, we're handling things, we're getting through things, we're problem solving. But unfortunately what happens, because the self-doubt is pretty savvy and it notices all the negatives. It notices all the times you've messed up and all the mistakes you've made and all the problems and that you're a mess and no one likes you and all that stuff. You could notice all the things that you are doing or you could notice all the things that self-doubt wants you to notice. And unfortunately, it is a beacon for your attention. It is like, burr, burr, burr. look at me, look at me, you're not good, you're not good, you're not good. But there is still all these other things. And so you have to do the heavy lifting here. You have to take your attention from one to the other because every day you're getting up, you're brushing your teeth, you're getting ready, you're getting out of bed, you're getting food for yourself, you're calling somebody, you're going to work, you're doing things, you're helping others. All day, every day, you're figuring out life and handling it. All the while, you're afraid that you can't go through life and handle it. It's simply a lie that self-doubt tells you. Not true. If you start to focus your attention on all the things that you are doing and notice those things, take a pregnant pause after you do it and notice the things that you're doing. When you start to notice those things that you're doing, you'll begin to integrate that trust and that self-confidence, that belief that you could do things that come your way. 
This is going to blast through self-doubt. Once you practice this for a long time, you'll have trust. Your self-doubt will go down. Guess what? Your anxiety will go down. Your depression will go down and your happiness will go up. Number three, stop at that negative self-critic in your head. You know that one. You know that one that's analyzing everything you've done. Self-doubt comes in and makes you afraid that you can't do something in the future. The negative self-critic is analyzing and saying negative things about the past. And so if you are constantly giving the attention to that negative self-critic that is going to analyze and be negative about everything you've done in your past, it is going to increase encourage its cousin, self-doubt, from coming in and terrorizing your present and your future. If you get a handle on that, and I have a whole video on it, if you get a handle on that, you will crush your self-doubt and you'll be able to move forward to those things in your life that give you purpose, that give you a sense of worth, that tether you, connect you with others, make your heart sing, make your soul glow, and make you happier in your life. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it, share it all around. Self-doubt is a problem for everybody. If you want more from me, come on over to my website, jodyamon.com for more articles and videos on how to love yourself and open your heart. And while you're there, sign up for email updates so you don't miss a thing. And I'm going to send you my MP3. You'll never see this anywhere else online. How to let go of what no longer serves you in three doable, practical steps. And I'm here every week putting out a new video. So again, subscribe to my channel and I will see you right here next week. And until then, be present and let that you that you want to be shine through.